Welcome back out there everyone. Uh, Jazzy here and today we are doing a review of the Power of the Primes Dinobots Volcanus mode. Um, and I'm going to say uh, when I first saw the pictures of uh, these five combined uh, I was not a fan. Um, I don't care for the Dinobots combining. Uh, they didn't do it in G1 and so I wasn't really a fan of the pictures that I saw online. However, when I got them and I actually combined them myself, I thought they looked really, really nice. Uh, they're definitely uh, better in person than they look in their pictures. Um, it's not a horribly difficult transformation. Um, it's pretty similar to the rest of the Combiner Wars figures in a lot of ways. Uh, same type of movements and joints required uh, in your transformations. So it's not a difficult thing to do. Um, you can combine them in any order you like. Uh, you can make that any of them could be a leg or an arm. Uh, I'm talking of course of slag, uh, sorry, uh, slog, snarl, s swoop, and sludge. Uh, you know what? Screw it. I'm calling him Slag. Um, that's what he is to me. Uh, Grimlock, of course, forms the, the main torso and head. Um, but um, I'm going to do mine. I'm going to have Snarl and Sludge as legs, Swoop and uh, Slag as arms. Uh, I find it kind of just looks a bit better that way. Um, of course, we do have all our prime armor parts, you'll need those, including Gremlocks, which form the feet. Um, so yeah, it's uh, not a difficult transformation, but um, it's one that uh, will take a little while, perhaps. I'm going to start here with Slag. We're going to make him an arm. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to take his legs, transform them out if you're putting him in his robot mode. That includes this tail part back here. Just open that up. And um, just like your Combiner Wars figures, you essentially will be putting this in a position. Tap it together move these legs out and you want to get his tail parts out of the way I'm going to make him a, a left arm the triceratop head will come off and you'll take out the connector piece and you'll tilt the triceratops head so it stays off like this now these here, you want to turn them on the swivel and you can bring them up here and they will tab right onto the body like so. A little tab right here. So take this, turn it. Whoops. Oh yeah, turn it and move it up like this and just tab it into place. And now you want to take his tail, put that back into place like so. And here you have one arm pretty much ready to go on. Let's see if we can connect that up a little bit better. There we go. And we'll put these legs back out of the way and take his prime armor take out the fist put down the thumb and there we go slag is ready to connect next we'll do swoop and we'll just get swoops landing gear up there you want to take these legs, bring them down. You want to put his wings 
up here like this out of the way. Do they go up another notch? No, they don't. You just want to keep the wings out of the way. This head, you want to put it up like this and get this part here out and all the way around. Nope, sorry. This goes in here like this. This Tronodon head will go like that. And his wings come up here like this. You need to undo his arms and move his legs like so. The feet will come down and you'll tab them back together. These arms will connect another way. You want to take this turn it like so and there's a tab and a slot right here just connect that onto the main body same thing over here with this arm tab it right in like so and we're going to move these up like this so they stay out of the way um, you can leave them down if you like um, or like this uh, just so long as they stay out of your way and once again, he will be needing his fist. Let's open up this. Fingernails help here. And plug that in like so. There we go. And that is swoop, transformed, and ready to join. Next up we're going to do Snarl, and he will be forming a leg. So right off the bat what we're going to do is we're going to bring this tail up and bring out the connector piece. Take these, pull them down, and you want to leave this here like that. You do have two little tabs here for his his arms to go onto. Like so. So turn it around. Tab right there and put that in like that. Now, for his, his legs down here, I need to open up these ports, so move his head back, move these legs back, and there we go. So now you'll take one of Grimlock's prime armor, and you can take his, and just plug that right into the back, you give him a nice big heel, and that will go in there like this. And there's Snarl. So that's three down and one to go. And last we have Sludge. Uh, Sludge is a little bit different transformation with regards to his head, but it's nothing difficult. Uh, first we're going to take these legs and move them up and out of the way. Let's open up his tail and his legs here and bring it back like so. Make sure it's all still snapped right into place. For these here legs, I'm trying to see where do they tab in. They will tab right there like this. And then finally this head here, you need to get this out of the way, including this. And flip up his connector, like so. And then for this here, 
you just turn this head like that and that's all there really is to sludge. Sludge is not as difficult as I remembered obviously. And once again take Grimlock's prime armor, take Sludge's prime armor, just plug that in. And why does this not want to plug in? There we go. And that will go in here. And there we go, Sludge is ready. So that is all the limbs. Now it's just Grimlock. And uh, we will now get Grimlock transformed. First thing I'm going to do is, I'm, I'm really just going to take him apart. Disconnect his tail here. Pop up his head. Let's move these, remove these uh, wings and these panels here. Um, Essentially, Grimlock is going to really be transformed a lot. You even can take this apart and bring that up here like this. Just turn that around. Um, the head will stay here like this. This tail will need to be moved up. Because this will be forming the legs of Volcanus. And this is where his head is actually, right up here. Like so. And you bring these chest pieces in here like this. And they will tab onto the waist like so. Let's just get his legs set up down here now. Into position. And now for his arms. Okay, here we go. This here, we'll bring this up turn the arm out this way let's just move this back and this will come down the wing will come down and tab right onto it there we go my old memory is just not what it used to be I'll flip the arm into this position and put it back like so let's get a better look at it here now on this side pull the arm out like so and tab the wing down onto it like this. Now turn this arm and just rotate it back like that. Um, I do find that these tabs don't stay there very great, um, but um, it's not bad actually once you get them all together. Let's bring in Sludge and Snarl and let's slot these in and just like the Combiner Wars they'll just go in like so. Over here like so and there he's his legs yeah, let's go up, 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 way up. There we go. And we will put on his arms. First comes Swoop. And now Slag. And here we have Volcanus all done up. Um, yeah, there he is. Um, and I, I gotta say, I do like him better in person than I saw him in the pictures. Um, I don't even think looking at him on video really does justice to how good he looks. Um, you got a bit of a gap here, but, um, it's, it's not that bad. 
um, when you when you actually have him. Um, articulation wise, you do have movement, a bit of movement here, but I find these tabs come out so easily. I tend not to move his arms a whole lot. You can move them though. These here are on ratchets, um, but yeah, these these wings, the tabs on them, I find they're very loose. Um, but I do like like that King Grimlock like mole uh, head. Uh, he's he's a really nice looking combiner. I I, I gotta say I I'm really <laughs> really glad I I, I combined them. Uh, I wasn't going to at first. Um, my original plan was just to leave all the Dinobots in their individual modes, but um, I think I'll be putting him with my combiners. If I could afford to get uh, duplicates, I would, and I actually recommend that um, you should keep this. It's it would be good if you can afford it to have. One just to combine, and another uh, to have in their individual modes, because the Dinobots just look cool. Uh, they're really nice to have in their in their robot modes. Um, Weapon-wise, you kind of I, I kind of do add the Dinobot weapons, like under here in these fists. You do have other little ports, so I do like to give him a little bit of firepower here and these swords you can just put them in his thumbs if you like just so he has a couple little weapons of his own just adds a little detail to him Let's, you can straighten his legs up a bit too he doesn't need to be slouched like I had him. There we go. Volcanus. Ah, uh, definitely get him. Definitely get him. Uh, if he wasn't good enough just in the Dinobots for the Dinobots, he's he's worth getting for his combination, his combined mode as well. Highly recommend. Until next time, have a good one.